we've already seen that the fraction 2 fifths, or a fraction like the fraction 2 fifths, can be literally represented as 2 times 1 fifth. 2 times 1 fifth, which is the same thing, which is equal to literally having two 1 fifths. So 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. And if we wanted to visualize it, let me make a hole here and divide it into five equal sections. And so this represents two of those fifths. This is the first of the fifths, and then this is the second of the fifths. Literally, two fifths, two fifths, two fifths. Now let's think about something a little bit more interesting. What would three times two fifths represent? Three times two fifths. Fifths. And I encourage you to pause this video and based on what we just did here, think about what you think this would be equivalent to. Well, we just saw that two fifths would be the same thing as, so let me just rewrite this as instead of three times two fifths written like this, let me write two fifths like that. So this is the same thing as three times two times one fifth. Three times two times one fifth times 1 fifth. And multiplication, we could multiply the 2 times the 1 fifth first and then multiply by the 3. Or we could multiply the 3 times the 2 first and then multiply by the 1 fifth. So you could view this literally as being equal to 3 times 2 is, of course, 6. So this is the same thing as 6 times 1, six times one fifth. 6 times 1 fifth. And if we were to try to visualize that again, so that's a whole. That's another hole. Each of those holes have been divided into five equal sections. And so we're going to color in, we're going to color in six of them. So that's the first fifth, second fifth, third fifth, fourth fifth, fifth fifth, and that gets us to a hole. And then we have six fifths, just like that. So literally three times two fifths can be viewed as six fifths. And of course, 6 times 1 fifth, or 6 fifths, can be written as, so this is equal to literally 6, let me do the same color, 6 fifths, 6 over 6 over 5. Now you might have said, well, what if we, instead of viewing 2 fifths as this, as we just did in this example, we view 2 fifths as 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. What would happen then? Well, let's try it out. So 3 times 2 fifths, I'll rewrite it. 3 times 2 fifths, 2 over 5, 2 fifths, is the same thing as 3 times, 3 times 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. 2 fifths is the same thing as 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. So 3 times 1 fifth plus 1 fifth, which would be equal to, well, I just have to have literally 3 of these added together. So it's going to be 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus, I think you get the idea here, plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. Well, what's this going to be? Well, we literally have 6 fifths here. We could ignore the parentheses and just add all of these together. We once again have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fifths. So once again, this is equal to 6 fifths. So hopefully this shows that when you multiply that 2 fifths we saw already represents 2 1 fifths. We already saw that, or 2 times 1 fifth. And 3 times 2 fifths is literally the same thing as 3 times 2 times 1 fifth. Or in this case, that would be 6 fifths.